Hello everyone, this is Asin from Skills Build Training. In today's video, I'll show you how to install Mac operating system in Ubuntu using VirtualBox. While Mac operating system is designed to install on an Apple machine, but you can install Mac operating system in the Linux for testing and development purposes. You can use VirtualBox for installing the Mac operating system. So I will guide you through the whole steps to install the Mac operating system on your machine effectively. First of all, you need to update your Linux environment. For that, open command line interface or terminal and in the terminal you should write sudo apt update and like this so it will ask for a password enter your password and press enter and it will start updating your linux now you can see our system is updated now we can install the virtual box in this system by you will use the command sudo apt install virtual box so by Executing this command, you will be able to install the virtual box through terminal. But if you have downloaded the package from the website, then you can install that package from the downloads. Since I have already installed my virtual box, so I will not going into that step. And now I'll proceed towards how to set up the virtual environment. So for that, I open the virtual box. So this is a virtual box. You can download it from this website and you need to select your environment in this case you need to select linux distributions and you will download this virtual box and install it now we will set up this environment firstly you have to click on new and in the new you need to name your operating system for example i am writing it as mac os we need to select the iso image file of mac operating system I have downloaded the Mac operating system file from the internet. You can also find that ISO image file very easily. You need to have a good internet connection to download it. And I have downloaded it and placed this ISO image on my desktop. So now I will give a path to it and in my desktop. So now, yes, I have given the path to the ISO image and this is Mac operating system X with automatically selected now we will select next now we need to define the memory so base memory should be a uh, minimum 2 to 4 gb and the processors should be one so i'll click s or you can change the processor upon your need if you have a bit availability of more processors you can select more processors then next now you have to create a virtual drive you need to have at least 20 gb empty space to install map operating system so i have placed this 20 gb you can increase it or decrease it depending upon your availability of disk now you select next so these are the hardware specification which we have just created in our virtual machine now i will go to the finish and see our virtual box f now this mac operating system so before proceeding towards the installation you need to check if your system has has allowed you to install virtual systems for that you need to shut down your pc and you should enter into the bios for that you need to restart and as soon the restart window opens you need to enter into the bios and click security and in the security you need to go in the advanced settings so there you can enable virtualization or there can be an option which says vtx enable so you need to enable that then you need to save those settings and restart your machine after restarting to execute some important commands we'll open the terminal and here are these important commands so we line one by one in the terminal so remember the terminal name so remember that the name of my virtual machine is Mac OS. So you can rename it by use, using your own name. So after executing these files, then you will open the virtual box and then you will see the details of your virtual box like this. So the name is Mac operating system. The operating system is Mac OS X 64 bit. And this is a base memory and this is the chipset type. So now if you need to change any of these details, you can go into the settings and you can edit any 
settings you want all right so now we press ok so now we will start the installation so this is how it will start powering up and yeah capture okay so during the installation you might not see the mouse so in order to use the mouse you can always control alt and g and then click on the mouse then your mouse will be freed to use in your desktop so it is installing you need to select the language and then you have to choose this utility and then continue and here you have to select the hard drive and then you have to erase the hard drive and name any and then you have to erase it and in this way you have mounted the hard drive now you have to click install mac os ventura then continue again enter continue now you have to accept the agreement and then again agree and then you have to select the hard drive and then you need to continue now you have to wait for 20 to 40 minutes depending upon the pc so i have fast forward the process and now you can select the language and you can configure the startup for the first time then choose continue and again continue click agree now you have to insert your name and password continue so you have to select the time zone and now you have to select the, your preferred look and now you are good to go so now macOS Ventura is successfully installed on your virtual box for more such content please follow